एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम do you know that we have specific type of furnaces to melt the metal we'll study the melting process in today's video welcome to s chand academy and i am anmol bhatia for detailed conceptual clarity you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so we are covering the metal casting process in this video and it is the first part of the video in this part of the video we will be covering the metal melting process and the fettling process so before beginning let me tell you that we are covering the process of casting and in this process of casting we have already covered the pattern making and mold making process in the previous videos in this part of the video we will be covering the melting process so the melting process is majorly a process which is used to melt the metal before pouring it into the mold cavity so we have specific type of furnaces in order to melt the metal let's say for an example we have a blast furnace and in the blast furnace generally the the furnace is coal fired and all the scrap material is placed inside the crucible where in the metal is being melted the video that you are seeing on the screen denotes a metal melting process which is for the case of a blast furnace as you can see on the video that the scrap material is being poured on the crucible and that uh, material is melted with the help of the blast furnace now the second case uh, of the furnace that we will be learning here would be the case of cupola furnace so the diagram that you are seeing on the screen is the case of a cupola furnace and here we have to place the material layer by layer so we have a, a layer of coke and we have a layer of metal and additionally we have a layer of uh, the flux so here you can see that uh, it has a shell and that shell is being uh, covered with the help of a refractory lining so these refractory lining is a kind of a brick lining which is there on the surface that is used to prevent the heat from going outside you can see uh, that uh, we have a layer of metal which needs to be melted and above that metal we have to place a flux layer and a layer of coke so in the similar fashion we have to keep the metal like we have a coke and then we have the flux layer and here we have a layer of metal so we have a metal layer we have a layer of flux and we have a layer of coke in a similar manner we have these three layers and the zone is called as a preheating zone in in this charging from this charging zone we have to we have to pour in the metal and then the flux and then the coke inside this now what happens uh, the the furnace is being fired with the help of the coal and there is a air blast inlet from this air blast inlet we have to provide the air that would uh, release the air and would create a combustion here so in the combustion zone you can see that uh, some melting of the metal would take place but uh, in the combustion zone the the major uh, reactions would occur and in this particular region what happens the burning of coal would take place so here in the combustion region the major reaction that is taking place is this reaction which is carbon plus oxygen it will give you carbon dioxide plus heat so as the heat is released that means the process is an exothermic process and the heat is there inside this combustion zone and when this carbon dioxide reaches a level which is above this combustion zone it 
needs to be reduced with the help of the carbon which is already placed as a form of coke there. So the second zone that you are seeing here is the reducing zone which is formed and here uh, a, a reaction would take place and that reaction is with carbon dioxide. Here carbon dioxide would get reduced with carbon and it will form carbon monoxide. So this carbon monoxide is a kind of a reducing agent and that reducing agent would be helpful in melting this metal. So what happens we have to melt let's say iron. So iron is Fe when it reacts with carbon monoxide it forms Fe3C and this melting would take place here. So because of that reducing agent this melting would occur and that melting is there because of the coke which is already there. Now you would be wondering that why flux is there. As I have told you that we need to melt the metal and uh, the flux layer is already there. So flux would uh, ultimately prevent this metal from further oxidation, prevent from further oxidation and would also uh, protect the metal, protect this molten metal for any foreign impurities. Molten metal. against the foreign impurities. The flux layer is a kind of layer that has these functions. It basically prevents oxidation and also it protects the molten metal from the impurities. So ultimately what happens this molten metal uh, comes in contact with this last region which is this region. And from a tapping hole, it goes inside the bottom uh, wherein uh, this molten metal is collected inside the crucible and that uh, crucible can be uh, used to pour in the metal inside that mold cavity. So this process is generally used to melt the metal and the furnace that is used or that is being demonstrated here is the cupola furnace. So cupola furnace is one of the furnaces which is used to melt the metal and it has certain reactions. So in the combustion zone you have this exothermic reaction. Above the combustion zone you have a reducing zone which creates carbon monoxide and this carbon monoxide is ultimately responsible for formation of this Fe3C uh, which is the molten state of the metal and from there this molten uh, metal comes inside uh, comes downward and with the help of this tapping hole it goes outside inside the crucible. So in this part of the video what we have covered we covered this melting of the metal wherein I have told you that the melting of the metal is a specific type of uh, requirement which is there in producing the final casted product. Before that we have seen the two processes which are pattern making and mold or the core making in the previous videos of the same course. So in this part of the video we covered the melting of the metal. In uh, the later stage we would be uh, covering the other aspects or other steps which are pouring the molten metal in the mold and then waiting for the cooling part and ultimately we will remove the uh, solid casting from the mold. So we would be covering these steps now. Let us look at the diagram which is uh, there on the board that shows the pouring of the metal and waiting for the cooling and solidification and ultimately removing the solid casting from the mold. Here you can see that there is a flask that consists of two regions. One is the cope, another is the drag and it has two holes which are visible but inside there there is a system which is called as the gating system. So from this pouring cup we would be pouring in the metal and with the help of this runner the metal goes inside that hollow cavity. When this hollow cavity gets filled that can be that filled cavity can be seen with the help of riser because the extra material comes in that cavity. So what happens here this part gets filled that means 
uh, we have poured the metal entirely in order to produce a sound casting. Now we will wait for uh, its cooling for some time and then what we will do, we will uh, open this flask and we will separate both the ends uh, by unlocking this pin. So both the ends would be separated and this metal cavity that is being filled, that hollow cavity that is being filled with metal would now be converted into a casted metal. So this casting would come out wherein this runner and the riser would also be solidified. So this is the removal of the solid casting from the mold. So this diagram depicts that the solid casting is being removed from the mold. And then if, if this is a sand casted part, so we can break this sand uh, mold and uh, use it further for the next operation. So this is the case of removing the solid casting from the mold. Video that you can see on the screen is showing the pouring of the molten metal inside that hollow casting in which you can see that there is a crucible or a ladle uh, in which the molten metal is being placed and that molten metal is inverted or uh, is basically added into the hollow uh, cavity and when it gets solidified it release it leads to the formation of the final casting the final casting which is being obtained after solidification is shown on the uh, screen with the help of the video wherein you can see that the final casted product is there and the person is generally uh, cleaning that uh, surface of the final casted product. With this we come to the end of the first part of the video wherein we have seen the process of melting, we have seen the process of pouring the metal inside that cavity waiting for solidification and then removing that final casting from the surface. In the next part of the same video, we will be learning about the fettling process. For detailed conceptual clarity, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. If you find the video interesting, like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.